Welcome to the tutorial override tool. So the first thing to know about the override tool is that it's not actually a tool so much as a feature or an option. And I've actually been using it throughout all the previous tutorials. What it basically does is it takes any keyboard shortcut for a tool that has Alt on Windows or Option included in the keyboard shortcut and allows you to use just the second part of the shortcut, which is usually a letter, um, and press that letter in order to change quickly between the current tool and that new tool. So I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see here, I have the select tool selected, but let's say I'd like to adjust the contour of this letter K momentarily um, while still using the, the select tool to say move around the letters and do things. I just want for a minute to, to quickly change this contour and then go right back to the select tool. What I can do is hold down the letter A. And as you can see, this brings up the contour editor. You can also see it here in the bottom in red. So I went from the select tool to the contour editor tool. And of course, as you may have guessed, it's indicated in red because it's not as if I actually changed my tool permanently to the contour editor tool. I was only changing it momentarily. And if you recall, the reason that the letter A works is because the keyboard shortcut for the contour editor tool is Option A on Mac or Alt A on Windows. So let's use that for a minute to, uh, to fix up this letter K. So there we go, we have kind of a stylish looking K with bunny ears, um, you know, for the rabbit part of the cartoon rabbit. But say while I have my select tool selected, I'd like to add another like little whisker like it is here. Um, what I can do is hold down the B tool to once again bring up the brush. So I can do that and then, you know, bring up my brush like that and then I could be like, oh, that's a bit thick. I don't know if I really want my whisker that thick. Well, then I can bring up the eraser tool by clicking on the letter E and maybe kind of, you know, tapering that down a bit so that it doesn't look so thick like that. So as you can see, you can easily change between tools without ever having to actually go to the tools toolbar or by using full keyboard shortcut commands. And the way that you can see what all the different keyboard shortcuts are for the various tools is of course by going to Animate Pro Preferences on Mac or that would be under Edit Preferences in Windows and then going under the Shortcuts tab in the Preferences panel and we're specifically looking at the drawing mode and you can look at the list to see um, what the keyboard shortcuts are. So here the brush tool you know you have a uh, option B can go down a bit further and see maybe uh, the paint tool or the, you know, it's option K. Uh, I think the eraser tools up here somewhere. Option E as you saw before. And so any of these ones with an option and a letter or a number right beside, you can once again just use that letter to switch back and forth very, very quickly. And once again, this option in Windows would be Alt. So that's it for the tutorial, the override tool. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, more drawing tools.